Just stopped at All Tackle, got a bunch of green crabs. I got some frozen sand fleas that I uh, got from Acetique that I raked up. And I'm gonna head down to 4th Street. The inlet's closed, it's OC Bike Fest going on. So we'll give that a shot. Uh, fishing down here though, the last couple weeks has been pretty slow. We went out on the Ocean Princess, that the uh, party boat, the charter boat, that was pretty rough. Um, I would say out of the whole boat, it was almost a packed boat. There's a couple keeper sea bass and uh, I think two flounder, two uh, keeper flounder. But uh, between the, the storms coming in, the rough ocean, all that, even the charter boats really haven't been going out much. So it's been really, really quiet here. So we'll head down to 4th Street. We'll see if, see if we can get some bites on something. I'm getting a decent bite right here. I'm going to try some fish bites. See if that will kind of get them on. I don't know what it is, but it's, uh, it's giving me a pretty good tug. So we'll figure it out. Try to figure it out. Try to trick them. I think he figured it out. <laughs> I'm gonna put a sand flea on there and see if he'll eat it. He's not eating this. He was right there too. I have a um, three aught offset hook on here. Here he comes. So he's on to my fish bite scheme. Uh, a couple bites, that's it. Um, sand fleas and green crabs. There's a big one here now. I just I can't get him. He just won't won't take the whole bait. How far is this bait shop? The bait shop. Yeah. You see the condos over there yeah. with the blue roofs right on the other side. Jeez. Yeah. That's too boring. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Tog. Tiny one, tiny, tiny one. Sixteen inches, but they fight hard. All right, thanks. Usually when I fish down here, I use um, nine ounce weights, bank sinkers, 
and I don't have any with me. All I got is a five, so I'm kind of making it work, but the current, you can feel it drifting right through. Ooh, that's sea bass. That's gotta be. As soon as it hit, can't resist the green crab. <laughs> There's always a debate of what works better, uh, green crabs, frozen sand fleas, or live sand fleas. To be honest, it's, I feel like sometimes they all work the same, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they want one thing, sometimes they want another. Um, the other day I was on the, at the inlet, and I was trying to catch the same things I'm trying to catch today, and um, it just, they didn't want the green crabs. All they wanted was the, the frozen sand fleas. So I like to carry both with me if I can get them. Uh, if, if I'm kind of in a rush, I'll just grab the frozen sand fleas. That's kind of my go-to, but, uh, but these work too. They work great. If you didn't see the black drum video that I caught, the 30 inch black drum, that was on green crabs. Some good thumps down there too. So that's a good sign. The fish are here. It's just trying to get them to bite it. So I'm on more closer to second street today. If you saw uh, the Lazy Lizard video that we did on the OC Bay Hopper, we came in from over there and then came through this way and the Lazy Lizard's right there, the one with the green and blue uh, little awning things. Picked clean. That was a fun night. That was a ton of fun. Green crabs, I got these at All Tackle, right by the Royal Farms. And they were $4 for a dozen, which is, uh, it's, it's pretty good, pretty standard. Get back here, you. Anytime I use these, I try to put the legs back in the water to chum the water up a little bit. It always seems to help. This is a juicy, juicy piece. Getting some good bites. They're kind of aggressively biting today. I think I might switch the hook out again and put a smaller one on and try to just set the hook each time. Got him. Another decent one. Perfect hook set too. Right in the, the little bubble gum lip. All right, pull this guy out. We're gonna measure them too. Forgot to measure the other one. All right. Slide them back. Ten inches. Ten inches on that one. Number two. Tog. Uh, I have to be sixteen inches to keep. Um, it's still a little bit early for keepers. So you won't see too many around now. Yeah, I mean, you'll see one here and there, but um, normally when the water gets pretty, pretty cold, that's when they'll, they'll start coming out more. Let's see if I can get another one. Should be able to get another one. Pretty much kind of figured them out now as I jinx myself and never get another bite the rest of the night. Got another one.
This one's a little bit smaller. You know what? It might be bigger. Uh, nope, 10. They do have little teeth, if you can see them. All right, get him back in. And grab another one, another green crab. Everybody has sort of their own way of tog fishing. For me, I like the rod tip as close to the water as I can. So when I do set it, I'm getting them up away from the rocks. I don't want them near the rocks because as soon as they're gonna bite it and they're gonna, they're gonna go right into the rocks every time. I think they took my crab. Did they? Nope. Got one. Oh, tiny sea bass. Tiny little sea bass. I'm gonna get him away from me. I don't want him near me. I think within the next like two, two or three weeks, or maybe into October, I'm gonna do another trip either on uh, the Angler or the uh, Ocean Princess and see what's out there, see if I can get some more stuff. Um, but yeah, the trip I had last time, it was so bad. The weather was rough. The, the captain, I felt horrible for him. He was super frustrated with it. Um, but I mean, it's fishing, it is what it is. Uh, the fishing has not been good here. That's why I haven't really posted many videos. I'll come out and catch one here or one there and it's just, it's not worth it to post. So at least today I'm getting some decent bites. That's a lot of boat traffic coming through here still. And it's after uh, after Labor Day too, which is usually when everybody leaves. <laughs> he is fast. If you guys have ever fished down here, I'd love to know what you've caught. If you've caught anything good. Get out of here, bird. Why doesn't he just go get some Thrasher's french fries or something? <laughs> oh man! Ah. <laughs> Dude, he's getting it on that boat. This one looks good, a little female. Whew. Juicy, juicy. Got one. Fish number four, that looks like another 10 incher. Right in the corner of the mouth. Uh, ten and a half. So that's the biggest one of the day. Ten and a half. It's not a bad one. Try to catch one more. Got him. It's another decent one. This one might be the biggest one of the day. Oh yeah, definitely is. Looks like almost a foot. Another good hook set right at the top of the mouth. Look at that. Look at his teeth too. All right, get him measured and back in the water. That one is 12 on the dot, uh, li little shy of 12. So that's a perfect one. All right. I'm gonna 
do this. Let's do it the easier way because I got it hooked so good. I can grab the hook and then shake. And off he goes. That was a good one. Happy with that one. Just real quick, the rod that I'm using today is a Pen Fierce 3 Combo 8000 series. It's a 10 foot rod, fast action. And the line that I use, all of the line that I use is Cast King. It's the only brand that I actually trust. Uh, I do have to say I am a brand ambassador for them, but uh, quality wise, they're by far the best. I've never had a problem with them. I've tried competitor ones. Uh, they've, I've had them snap just out of nowhere. Uh, casking, I have it on my, all my bay rods, uh, offshore rods, everything. Never had a problem with it. Oh, I think that's going to be it. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for hanging out with me. What do we catch? Five? I think so. A couple tens, a 12. I'll take it. They're here. That's good. Fall fishing is heating up, so that should get better. And go to try for some uh, drum, striper, all that. Uh, OSV has been closed for the last week, and I have no idea when it's going to reopen. Um, the storms that we had, the last couple of storms, the tides and the overwash that closed it. So hopefully it'll be open soon. I'll get out and surf fish. If not, I might head out onto the beach, Ocean City. Uh, like I said, go out on the, the uh, maybe hit up some charter boats, the Angler, uh, Ocean City Princess, one of those. I don't know. Should be a fun fall. All right, I'll see you later.